Let's dive into our top stories this morning. Now, Jacksonville police visited a residence multiple times Monday night when a man was arrested on drug charges and a vehicle was later stolen. Now, during the first visit, 38 year old Mario Jackson was arrested for possession of a control controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. Later that night, officers were called back to the house for a third time after a female complaint told dispatchers that her ex-boyfriend stole her vehicle after threatening her with a machete. Now the vehicle was later found and the incident remains under investigation. And now a Jacksonville man is facing multiple charges in an alleged hit and run that killed a Rod House woman. We're told 52 year old David Clark is facing charges of leaving the scene of an accident involving a death, leaving the scene of an accident causing personal injury, driving with a suspended driver's license and failure to reduce speed to avoid an accident. According to reports, Clark is alleged to have been driving east on Rod House Road on Friday around 7 p.m. when he collided with 71-year-old Judy Menji. Clark is currently being held at the Greene County Jail. And now a man is facing charges of driving under the influence after crashing into an Amron, Illinois truck in Beardstown on Tuesday. The crash happened at the 600 block of Beard Street. One of the vehicles was on fire when the Beardstown Fire Department arrived. We're told a passenger van had hit a parked truck belonging to Amron, Illinois. There were no reported injuries. The driver of the van was taken into police custody for suspicion of DUI. And now happening in your national news, President Biden announcing new agreements with China to curb illegal fentanyl production and restore military communications. Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping met for four hours Wednesday on the sidelines of the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Conference in San Francisco. The leaders Wednesday acknowledged the importance of the relationship and the need for peaceful coexistence between the two powers. And now Hunter Biden is requesting a subpoena against Donald Trump and three former Justice Department officials. The police seeks documents related to Biden's federal gun charge investigation, which his attorneys claim has been tainted by political pressure from the Trump administration. Now the the president's son was charged in 2018 with lying about his drug use when purchasing a handgun. And now the Senate Wednesday voted to pass the House's stopgap funding bill, adverting a shutdown and setting the stage for another budget fight in the new year. President Biden is expected to sign the re resolution. It maintains current funding levels until January 19th for some federal agencies and February 2nd for others. The measure does not include any aid for Israel or Ukraine, which the president had hoped for.